How did you feel about being categorised as an agronome? Agronome was definitely a very new concept which I actually haven't heard of before, never mind being called. Grace O'Reilly reporting for RT. <laughs> it was a transfer of knowledge day between uh, ourselves and the farmers and Minch and the farmers came in and Minch facilitated it. We want our growers here basically to understand the process all the way from the seed selection, the field selection, all the way through and how that impacts on the distillery. So higher proteins affect how well we can process them all. And it was basically just to show the farmers how that affects us and that the lower proteins would be a benefit to us and also how they can achieve that. And we're all learning together. You see that we've got something unique going forward. It's unusual for us barley growers, kind of as a, an unrecognised body as we see ourselves most of the time. So this is all about sort of showing them what the impact is on their work on our work and how together we can make it work really well for all of us. We don't add anything to our barley at the malting stage, so when Minch malt the barley from the individual farmers, we don't add any enzymes or gibberellic acid, so it makes it more difficult to malt, it takes a bit longer, and also we get less malted, so we would have 100% normally with the gibberellic acid, so we choose not to do that, we want to do it as naturally as possible. We had stations around the distillery where there was a transfer of knowledge. I suppose it's just the understanding between the farmers, ourselves and Minch, how we can produce the best quality spirit and whiskey. And we want to do that uh, working with the farmer and Minch to achieve that. Uh, high proteins and, and the quality of the grain coming in has a big impact on not only the brewing side but the distilling side. We would have asked the farmers on a journey with us to see could they give us lower proteins. And a lot of people have put in a huge amount of effort. They would sow as early as they can in, in the year. But obviously the farmer is looking for a balance between the proteins and tonnage. So if they want to maximise the tonnage per acre, they want to put on fertiliser. But if they put on too much fertiliser, that would have an impact on the protein. So it's a, a fine balance. You know, what we are wanting is terroir. We can have the quality of barley that we need. What they are wanting is high tonnage per acre. But they need to listen to the agronomist. <laughs> if the proteins are high, it may not be the fault of the farmer. It may be environmental issues, a bad sowing year or bad harvesting year. In that respect, I suppose it's out of the farmer's hands a small bit. How does it compare to yours? Because you've tasted yours as well. Yeah, well mine's obviously slightly superior. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely that's got more body, more spice um, to it. That's a lighter, more subtle spirit maybe. Different in the spirits, like two fairly geographically close farms, same grain variety, but just different soil types. They could smell it straight away, which is very good. Same barley variety, but complete distinction between them, and that's just coming from the soils. It has to be coming from the soils because we're just sitting in the exact same way here. It's really good to be able to, to taste two side by side, and it is a completely different spirit. So we're showing them pretty much every aspect of the process. We start right from the seed all the way through, through to the maltings and back to the distillery and what impact their quality of barley has on the final product. So what we're doing is unique, I think, in Ireland. Throughout the whole process, we have nothing added. So when we have our whiskey, we'll have barley and yeast, water on the casks, and that's it. We'll add nothing at the malting stage, nothing throughout the process, nothing at the end to color the whiskey. We want to be as natural as possible with our whiskey. My honest opinion today, Carney, was it was super informative. Great to see the encouragement given by Mark and the Port Mall team as well. And what they do in their fields during the year has a big impact on how we distill their barley. Up and down, I guess, and uh, let's all work together as a team and hopefully we can keep the proteins within the very low bands that we have to get them into. <laughs> <laughs> Agronome 
yeah, it was definitely, it was definitely a new one. So it's good luck. It might stick. It could be, it could be a tagline uh, for the product down the lane. Who knows? All right. Were you the tallest gnome I've ever filmed? <laughs>